Hey folks, my name's Lawson P, and welcome to a garage tour of the Quas DLC Platinum Expansion. So, as you can see here, we have a ton of machinery. And this is all the machinery that I have. I pre-ordered the DLC, so I got a couple extra little tidbits, like this loader and this harvester. So, let's get right into it. I will be showing you the machines and their prices in the shop, their options, um, what headers you can get with them and all that. And uh, then we will be going and harvesting a little bit with them and cutting some grass with the mowers, checking everything out. So, let's get right into it. So first off, we've got the Kloss Jaguar 900 series choppers. So if we go into the store, and we go all the way to the beginning, Jaguar 980 to 930s. So these, you can get Midas, you can get Trelleborg, you can get Michelin tires on them. And in each one of those, you can get wide tires or standard. Um, pretty, pretty standard stuff there. I have the GPS mod installed, so I can put a, a GPS on them. That does not come with the Platinum expansion. Um, for the engine setup, you can go with the 930, the 940, 950, 60, 70, and 80. And then for the pipe, you can go with the standard, the large, the extra large, or the short. So I went with the extra large just for that little bit of extra reach getting into trailers that are a little bit farther away. Um, it is an extra $1,500. Pound, uh, $1, well, yeah, it would be $1,500. Um, so that's the setup I went with. I went with the Midas wide tires. I put the GPS on it, which is 15,000. So I'm not going to put that on to show you. So you'll have an idea of the just base price. And I went with the Jaguar 980 and the extra large pipe. So your out the door price for this machine is going to be $587,000 is a pretty chunk of change you better be ready to chop a lot of silage with this to pay for it now the header that it has on it is the Orbis 750 so the Orbis 750 it's this one has no options it's a 7.5 meter working width and cuts at 10 kilometers an hour And its base price is 99500 Pretty expensive. And then we're going to move on to this chopper. Now this one I really like because, A, the tracks are actually textured. Now if I go into the store and take a look at this tractor. Those tracks are not textured. They're just skinned on. There's no there's no grooves in these tracks. See so yeah, how they look cool from a distance, but they're not actually tracks. They're just a belt. So those have actual real tracks, which is really cool. Now for this one, I went with the Michelin tires on the back, and it's a Jaguar 960, and it has the Orbis 900 on the front of it with the extra long pipe. Now if you look at these two machines, that one is a lot longer 
than this one. The machine itself is. That's because of the tracks. They had to lengthen the machine out to fit these long Terraglide tracks in there. Um, so let's look at the price. Look at the prices on this chopper. So I went with the Michelin tires and the long pipe. So with my setup that I have, you are going to be paying four hundred and seventy-eight thousand for this machine. It does not have an engine option. It is, it's just a 960 Jaguar. So, that's the base price for it. If you don't put the long pipe on, it takes $1,500 off. And yeah, that is that machine. And then this is the header that it has on it. Again, no options. 9 meter working width and a 10 kilometer an hour work rate or work speed. And it is a hundred and twenty one thousand five hundred. Then beside these two, we have the three hundred pickup and the five hundred direct disc with the whole crop cutting edges on it. So let's take a look at those real quick. The pickup three hundred. No options. It has a 3 meter working width and can work at 20 kilometers an hour. So you're going to be moving across the field picking up grass with this thing. I don't think... Let me look in Forge Harvester headers. Now, it is the same as the Crone as far as your work speed. Okay, I wasn't sure about that. I don't I don't use the forge harvesters very often in this game. So for that one, you're going to be looking at 20,500 out the door for it. And then for the direct disc, it does have an option. It has design one, which is the cutting bars on the side or nothing. So you can just have a normal mower or you can have the cutting bars on the side. And I just noticed if you watch that, watch that skirt, when you change it, when you change the header around, that skirt moves. So when you're cutting hay or grass, theoretically that skirt should move around. But anyways, this head is a five, uh, five meter head and it has a 15 kilometer an hour work speed or ground speed. And there is a header trailer for it. I did not buy it because I am on a four times map and it's not super tight. But if you're on like a European map or something like that, or you're transporting it a ways down the road, there is a header trailer for it. Header trailer has no options, but it does carry the direct disc and it is $4,950. And I forgot to mention the price on this one. With the design, it's 36500 And without the design, it's 35500 So that is it for the, har for the forage harvesters. That is everything for them. Next, we move on to the Kloss Takano 580, which I really like this machine. It's a decent size harvester. Not too big, not too small. Looks really sharp. Um, you can climb the ladder, which is, well, kind of climb the ladder, which is pretty cool. It's got a decent sized grain hopper on it. Let's get inside the cab real quick and, ooh, lag spike. Um, very well done interior. It's definitely old school. It's got a three speed gearbox or a three speed main gearbox on it. So, this Takano is paired with a 770 Vario. So, let's take a look at these in the store. 
Foss Stacano 580. Alrighty. So I believe I put Michelin's, either Michelin's or Midas. No, I definitely put Michelin's on. So your out the door price for this machine with a 381 horsepower engine and a road speed of 40 kilometers and a tank speed of 11,000 liters, your out the door price for it is 348,000. Now that, I don't think, is too bad of a deal for that kind of a machine. Actually, I should look. Yeah, there's no... The Midas, you get wide tires. And the Trailborg, you get wide tires. The Michelin's, you get standard. So, just want to point that out. Now, the Vario 770 has no options, has a 7.7 .7 meter working width, 10 kilometers per hour work rate or work speed, no options on it, and its total price is going to come up to 49900 So not, not terrible for a 7 meter header, a little pricey but not bad. Then for the Vario, or the corn header here. Well, no, no. Excuse me. I stand corrected. That does not need a trailer. For the Vario 770, there is a trailer. It has no options. And it is 7,950. So, let's go take a look at this corn header. Now, this corn header does fold up, which is awesome. So road transport with the corn header will be super, super easy. This corn header, I should have unfolded it so I could see the number. We will go and look at it in the store. So this corn header is the Corio 875 FC. Has no options on it. It is a six meter header with a 10 kilometer an hour work speed. And its total cost is going to be 63500 So now we get on to the machine that I know everybody was super excited about. I was super excited about this. The Lexian 8900 series harvesters. I mean, look at that thing. That is a beast. I'm super excited to use this machine. So on this Lexian, we've got the Convio uh, 1230 Flex with the cute little, I was hoping those were trailer wheels, but they're not, um, with the cute little flotation tires on it. So let's hop into this guy take a look at the interior here very very modern push button start it would appear very very nice interior and a very nice view of the header too even when it's down you can still see your cutter bar very well which is pretty cool you can see the corners of your head well, you can't really see that one because of the monitor. But most of the time you won't be doing your outside round with that corner. You'll be doing it with this corner. So, let's take a look at this machine in the shop. If I can get out. Let's take a look at this machine in the shop and see what it's going to cost you. So, for the Lexian 8900 series... There's no base options for it. It's a 790 horsepower machine. Its road speed is 40 kilometers. And the tank capacity is 18,000 liters. Currently the largest in-game capacity. Now you're base price is going to be 49 or 48 
Ugh, excuse me, 489,500 for this machine, just for the just for the harvester. That's a that's a healthy little chunk of change to cough up for for a harvester. So now let's look at the look at the header. Again, no no options on it. It is a 12.3 meter header. So it's not quite as large as like the forty-five foot case headers. It's not quite as large, but it's cloths and it looks cool. And it's it's a new feature in the game. So I will definitely be using it. Its cutting speed is ten kilometers an hour. Pretty pretty standard. And its total price is gonna be eighty three thousand five hundred dollars. Now it does have a trailer. This trailer has no options, again, just like all the other header trailers. And its total price is 12500 Now, let's go take a look at this corn header. So it's kind of unique. Kind of looks all messed up. It folds up super, super tiny for storing it in a shed or going down the road with it. Just kind of cool. If you're hauling it on a trailer, it's not going to be sticking clear out to here with your row tips. It's sucked back up inside the header here, which I think is really an interesting concept. So, let's look at this machine and its, or this header and its header trailer in the store. So the Corio. 1275C is a 9 meter working width. It unfolds and looks like that, which is pretty cool looking. It's got a 10 kilometer an hour work speed, and it's a $79,500 header. It's pretty pricey for a corn header. Then its header trailer does not have any options, and it is $12,500 very similar to the header trailer for the grain header. So now that we have looked at those, these are the all the harvesters that you get if you did not pre-order it. Again, that harvester over there is a pre-order uh, pre exclusive harvester. So these two combines and then these two forge harvesters are in the normal platinum expansion. So let's move on to some trailers and tractors. We've got the Cargos 760. So let's take a look at it real quick. This is the Cargo 760. Now it does have a few options. It's got a 51,000 liter capacity. And actually, what does it carry? So it carries all of the bulk materials. Silage, hay, grass, straw, sugarcane apparently, wood chips, and chaff. So, it has a couple of tire options here. You can have Trellborg, which look like those. You can have Michelins, which your standard Michelins look like that. And then your wide tire Michelins are just a little bit wider. And your basic price, with just the Trellborgs on there, is 77500 now, if you put the Michelin standards on, it goes up to 83900 And then it goes up to 85700 with the wide tires. I apologize if you could see the Discord notification up here. Uh, I thought I had that turned off. 
Anyways, let's look at the tractor that it that is pulling this trailer. So this is the Kloss Axion 960 with the Trelleborg dual wheels on it. Let's hop up in it and take a look at the interior. Very modern interior. Very well laid out though. Very, very well laid out. Very good, uh, very good visibility too. Let's say. Only real dead spots are where the defenders are there. And then the exhaust pipe, but even that's not that much of a dead spot. So, let's look at this machine in the store real quick. So this is the 960 to 920. So the 920 is a 325 horsepower. And... The 960 is a 445 horsepower tractor. Now I had the Trelleborg full twin wheels on it with no wheel weights, just twin wheels. And for this setup right here, this is exactly what I bought. Well, aside from the GPS, it is $349,000 to buy this tractor. Now you can put Michelins on it, which I think actually look really good on this tractor. They look really sharp. Put wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires with wheel weights, rear twins, full twins, and then back to standard. You can also put Midas tires, which also look pretty sharp on here. And again, you got the wheel weights, the wide tires, wide tires with wheel weights rear twins, and full twins, and then back to standard. And then that is all of your tire options. So, this machine is a 445 horsepower tractor and goes 50k down the road. So it's pretty quick. Pretty quick tractor and pretty powerful as well. So, Let's move on to the Axion 870. Did I say this one's name right? Yes, it's an Axion. Okay, so let's move on to the Axion 870. So this is the 9 series, this is the 8 series of the Kloss tractors. And it is pulling the Cargos 750. Just a little bit smaller bulk trailer. We'll go over that in a minute, though. So, the Axion 870. Let's take a look inside the cab. I imagine it's going to be very similar to the 8 series, or the 9 series, excuse me. It is actually identical, other than the roof liner color. And I think there's a few other things in here are a little bit different. So let's take a look at this tractor and the trailer that is on the back, the Cargo 750, in the store. So the Axion 800 series tractors range from 205 horsepower to 295 horsepower. You can select the wheels on them. You can have Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, and then back to Trelleborg. And the same wheel options as the 900 series tractors. Now for the 800, you're going to be paying 184000 with the basic wheel package on it. And for the 870 with the basic wheel package, you'll be paying 229000 it's a 50k tractor, or a 50k gearbox in the tractor. So again, it'll get down the road pretty quick, and it's got it's got a reasonable amount of power to be going down the road that fast. But yeah, you can do the the same options 
on here, I believe, unless... Yes, it's not this tractor that has the narrow wheels. So, this is the Axion 870. Let's now go and look at the Cargo 750 right here. So, the Cargo 750 has a 44,500 liter capacity. Um, it has multiple wheel options, very similar to the 760. You can have Trelleborg standard, you can have Michelin standard, and you can have Michelin wide tires. So now for the Trelleborg standard, your total price will be 59000 For the Michelin standard, your total price will be 63300 And then with the wide tires, it will be 64500 so not not a bad track uh not a bad trailer excuse me not a bad trailer to be using for hauling chaff out of the field you know from your from your jaguars over there not not a bad option so now we move on to the Kloss Arion 600 series and behind it is the Cargos 9500 loading wagon. So, oh, and on the front is the FL140 front loader for these tractors. So, let's take a look at the cab on this tractor real quick. It does have a sunroof. Cool. Very similar interior layout. Um, dang it, everybody is messaging me on Discord right now. Need to put that on Do Not Disturb. Um, you do have a buddy seat in this tractor, which I did not check on those ones. I think you do. But very similar layout to, to the Axions. A little bit smaller cab, I feel. The muffler is a lot smaller on this one, and the muffler is actually a lot smaller on the 800 as opposed to the 900. Your window does have a defroster on the back, as does the 800, which kind of messes with your vision a little bit, but it's not bad. It's nothing you can't, can't really deal with. So, let's go into the store and take a look at these tractors. So, we're going to be looking at the Arian 600s. So, the basic tractor, the Arian 610, is 145 horsepower. And that will go all the way up to a 205 horsepower with the Arian 660. Now, your, your base price, just as it is right here, without changing anything, is $120,000. The maximum engine upgrade on it bumps it up to $150,000. So, not bad. You go up $30,000 and you get an extra, uh, what would that be? 60 horsepower? That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. I could live with that. So, now let's look at the tires. You got Trelleborg, Michelin. Nokian, Midas, and then back to Trelleborg. So now let's look through the Trelleborgs, because I believe this one has narrow tires. So we've got wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires with wheel weights, rear twins, full twins, and yes, this one does have narrow tires. So you can effectively have a 205 horsepower tractor with narrow tires, which is pretty cool. It also has the option for a front loader attacher, as you saw. So this would be this would be a very good, you know, farmyard tractor slash fieldwork tractor. You could put your your bigger tires on for fieldwork, and then you know use it around the farm with the front loader. You could do your spraying. It's just a very universal tractor. And it, it's got decent horsepower, so you can pull a decent cultivator with it. 
and uh, actually get some work done. And it's not that expensive. So yeah, that is the Arian 660. Now let's look, I'm going the wrong way. Let's look at the Cargos 9500. So the Cargos 9500 is a loading wagon. It holds 53,000 liters, requires 240 horsepower, and has a working speed of 20K. So the things you can change on this loading wagon are the tires and the tire setup. You have your Trelleborgs, the standard. Then you have the Trelleborg wide tires, which are the little bit more construction looking tread pattern. And you have your Michelins and your Michelin wide tires, which are just bigger, fatter, more flotation style tires. So for the basic machine, you're looking at $140,500 for this as basic. The wide tires in the Trelleborg category goes up to 141,000. With the Michelin's standard goes up to 141,500. And with the wide tires it goes up to 142,000. So, not a bad not a bad loading wagon. If you're looking for a larger loading wagon, not bad. Not bad at all. So now, let's go on to this cute little guy. This is the Arian 400 series. And on it is the FL120C. And actually, I need to show you the FL140 as well. We'll do that real quick. So this is the Arian. 400 series and I love the panoramic roof it allows you you know so much more visibility when you're stacking bales or loading a trailer you're not trying to trying to figure out where your where your bucket is where your forks are and if you're trying to be a realistic player you don't have to go out a third person or out into third person to see where your where your mast is because that's all the way up. So all the way up is right there. You can very clearly see where your bucket's at, whether you're gonna hit anything or not. That is an awesome little feature. So the stick does move, and I'm using the mouse, so it's gonna be kind of glitchy. But that is, that's really cool. It's very, actually kind of a basic interior compared to the other ones over there. It's, uh, it's kind of plain, plain Jane, which I, honestly, I really like. It keeps it simple. There's less things to go wrong. So let's take a look at this tractor in the store. So this is the Arian 400 series. Now the basic tractor with nothing done to it is 75,500. Now if you look here, it's got a normal roof on it. You can change that to a panoramic roof, which is really cool. You have the option of either or. So if you want just a normal tractor, eh put the normal roof on it. But if you're looking for a front loader tractor, then yeah, the panoramic roof is an awesome way to go. So let's look at the wheels and tires. You got Trelleborg, Nokian, and that's it. I thought there was more. Hmm, my mistake. All right, so in the Trelleborg category, you've got standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires with wheel weights, and narrow tires, as you saw on it out there on the farm. And you have your engine setup. So your base engine setup is 90 horsepower. Your maximum engine setup is 140 horsepower. A great little farm tractor for stacking hay, pulling a tether out through the field, pulling a, pulling a windrower out through the field. 
honestly. And, uh, yeah, an awesome little tractor. Your maximum engine setup cost with the standard tires is 105500 With the Nokians, it goes up to 106000 Excuse me. And if you throw... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I messed up. Okay, so with the Trelleborgs, with the design standard and the maximum hor or yeah, maximum horsepower, it's a hundred and two thousand. The panoramic roof, it's a hundred and seven thousand. Hundred and five thousand. Good lord, I'm on a roll of messing things up today. Anyways, the maximum that you can pay on this tractor is going to be a hundred and ten thousand. That is it. That is as expensive as this tractor can get for the basic tractor. Now let's go look at those front loaders. I did not buy in the weights, but there is a 600, a 900, and an 1800 kilogram weight. Front weight, back weight, however you want to put them on there. I didn't buy them in because I figured weights are fairly self-explanatory. They do not have... Oh! Interesting. I did not know that. You could put an add-on onto there. That's cool. Okay, so apparently you have a 600 and a 1200. And then here you have a 900 and a 1500. Cool. And this one is an 1800 or a 2000, a 2200 or a 2400 or a 2600. Or back to an 1800. Cool. That is a really cool feature that you can add and remove weight as you need it with those. Nice. So, here you have the smaller of the front loaders, the FL120C. This is on the 400 series uh, Arian. And this is the 140 that is on the 600 series Arian. Very nice, well modeled front loaders. I really like them. Um, oh crap, I just tapped out of the game. Uh, okay. Problems aside, let's move on to something a little bit bigger. So here we have the Zarion 4000 with narrow tires for mowing. This is a really cool tractor because that is the Zarian 5000, and this is the 4000. But, on both of them, you can hit Control-B and do that. Flip the cab around, set it back down, and now your driving direction is back this way. But if you're mowing or doing something off the front, wood chipping or anything like that, and you want good visibility, you can flip that cab around and now you've got excellent visibility out the front. That is really cool. A pretty basic interior, which is nice. The overhead display up here is pretty complicated, but not overly complicated. It's got a nice little buddy seat. Looks very, very nice. So, while we're looking at the Zerions, we're going to look at the 5000 series Zerion here. Because they are the same tractor in the store. They're not. They don't have their own separate pages. And we will also look at the mowers while we're in the store. So, this is the 5000 series Zerion same cabin the same basic tractor the only difference that I noticed between these two was the hood the hood on this one is much bigger than the hood on this one and I will show you that in the store so 
let's go to the store and take a look at these. So, where'd they go? There they are. So this is the 4000 series Zarium. It's basic price with nothing done to it. It's $337,000. $337,500, excuse me. The base horsepower is 435 horsepower, so not a bad tractor, just as it is. Got some pretty good oomph. It goes 50k down the road, so it'll get down the road pretty quick. It's got some pretty good pulling power. You can put Michelin, Midas, and Trelleborg on it. The on there you can put uh, wide tires twin wheels and narrow tires and I believe you can do that yes that one as well and then in the Midas yes so you can put narrow tires on these machines in all three of the wheel brands now there is a there is a third one of these that I did not buy because I figured I'd just show you in the store. But it is the Zerion 4500. And did you notice the hood? 4000, much shorter hood. 5000, much beefier, bigger hood. It is a 490 horsepower tractor. And then you have the 5000. Which does not have any visual changes other than the number. But it is a 530 horsepower tractor. So an absolute monster. Now for the 4500 in the basic design, you're going to be looking at 368,750. And then for the 5000, you will be looking at 400, $400,500. dollars So... This is the 4000, and this is the 5000 with twin wheels. It's all set up for some pretty serious pulling. And it's got a quadrant on the back. Doesn't really need to be set up as big as it is for this. But I figured, what the heck. We got a big, beefy tractor, big, beefy tires. Why not put a shiny new baler on the back of it? So here we have the quadrant 5300 FC. So, this is a 3x4 or mid-size baler. Very well detailed. It looks, looks really good. Let's see if we can get up on top of it. Yes. The nodders are even really well detailed. The framing, gearbox, that is really cool. You can actually see down inside the baler. Now I'm curious. I have to see if all of that moves when you fire it up. So what I'm going to do for this is let this save for 20 minutes. Turn on that and turn on the automatic engine start. Or turn it off. Look at that. You can actually see everything moving inside the baler. That is really cool. You can see all the the beaters and the pickup and augers moving on the on the pickup header and the stuffers pushing the hay up into the plungers. That is really cool. Now if we look in here you can see the plunger moving. That is amazing. I love it. So, let's shut this off before it annoys me. So, let's go look at the quadrant in the store. And the mowers. I said I was going to look at the mowers as well. So, look at the mowers first. The front mower requires 70 horsepower, has a 3.6 meter working width, and a 22 kilometer 
per hour working speed. Its base price is 200 and... Oh my good lord. I cannot talk today. $22,500. That is the Disco 3600 FC. The Disco 1100 C requires 160. So you're looking at 70 plus 160. That is 230 horsepower to run this machine. So it, it takes a little bit of a little bit of power to run it. Not bad. This one has a 10 meter working width and also runs 22 kilometers per hour. And its base price is $46,500. So, honestly, a really good little, little mower setup there. Now let's go over to the Quadrant. The Quadrant does have some options on it for the wheels. Has a 4, 000, makes 4,000 liter bales, requires 230 horsepower, bales at 20 kilometers per hour. Has very nice animations. I love that. So its base price with no modifications to the wheels is 153,500. And if you put the Michelin wheels on, it is 155,400. Does not change the capacity or the horsepower requirement or the ground speed. Now, I'm going to walk over to this side and look at this thing. This is the Roland 455 Uniwrap. A baler wrapper combo, similar to the Kuhn baler wrapper that we have, but it's a single axle instead of a twin axle. So let's take a look at this in the store. So, this machine, you can change the foil colors on it, which is pretty cool. I left mine as white. You can change the tires on it. Its base price is 78500 It requires 145 horsepower to pull. will bale at 20 kilometers an hour and creates 4,000 liter bales. These are round bales. Now for the tires, you can put Michelins or Trelleborg on it. And with the Michelins on there, it's 78900 So not much of a change in price for the little bit different tires. The foil color does not affect the price at all. So choose away to your heart's content. So, this is the Roland 45, or 455RC Uniwrap. Do not see the RC on it. Interesting. Cool. That is a, a really, really nice self-contained silage making unit right there. You mow your grass with the disco mowers, then you windrow it up and bale it with this, and bam! You got silage. So yeah, that would be a very good investment for like a smaller farm that's trying to get up on its feet and make some money. So now let's go look at these guys. These are really cool. So we have the Kloss Torian 1914, which is the big loader with a really big exhaust pipe. Then we have the Kloss Scorpion 1033, which is a telehandler. A fairly decent little telehandler, too. And then over here, we have the Torian 956, which is a lot smaller version of the big guy. This is more of like a, a farmyard type of uh, wheel loader and it looks like it takes a telehandler implement. I could be wrong very easily could be wrong. It could take a wheel loader implement. I'll have to test that. But that is a pretty cool little machine. 
And then we got the little baby one for mucking out the cows. The Torion 639. Now that is a cute little loader. I mean, it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny. It's got a fairly decent lift on it, too. Holy cow. That's not bad at all. So if you were decking hay in a in a barn, this would not be a bad choice, especially if it was a kind of tight barn. You were stacking round bales in there or something like that. So yes, this is the loader lineup. We'll start with the Torian in the store, and then we'll move to the Scorpion, and then the baby, the smaller Torian, and then the little baby Torian. And then we will cover these two separately as they are pre-order only vehicles. So, the Torian 1914 has the option to change the tires. You can have Trelleborg, Midas, Michelin, and Nokian. Personally, I like the way the Midas look on it. They're big, chunky tires. And the Michelins will, or the Trelleborgs will cost you $2,700 extra. The Midas won't cost you anything extra. And the Michelins will cost you $5,850 extra. The Nokians will cost you $2,050 extra. So let's set this on the Midas. That does not cost you anything. And your base price will be $248,500 for this machine. Not bad for a for a full-size loader. It's a 224-horsepower loader. goes 40K, so not bad. Now, it doesn't change the road speed to change the tires, unfortunately. So, with the Michelins on it, which are the most expensive setup you can put on there, it's $254,350. So, again, still not too bad. I personally like the Midas, the way the Midas tires look, and the way the Trellborgs look. Because that's kind of the type of tire that we use mostly over in the United States. It's like a flat top, like road tire. Now let's look at the Scorpion 10, uh, 1033. This little guy can have Trelleborg or Nokian. Now the Trelleborgs do look a little bit different. They look more like a construction tire than just your standard ag tire. Actually, let's go back and look at this guy. Yeah. So this is the tractor style Trellborg. And this is the telehandler style Trellborg for the Scorpion. Cool. So they did add a different looking tire to the game. That is really cool. So you can have the standard or the wide tires. And then with the Nokians, they're just as they are. This is a 136 horsepower vehicle, goes 40k. And as standard, it's $96,000. With the wide tires, it's 97200 And with the Nokians, it's 98400 So not, not bad for a telehandler. Now let's look at this guy. The Torian... 956 Sinus. I did miss that. So this is like your mid-size loader. It is 106 horsepower. goes 40k. Base price is 114,500. And your wheel setup is front twin wheels, which look kind of odd on it. That will bump you up to $116,850. Uh, 
And then if you go with the Nokians, which actually look really sharp on there, it will be 115,300. If you go with the Midas, it will not cost you anything extra. And there you go. That is all of your tire options. This has the same new looking tread pattern as the telehandler for the Trailborgs. Cool. Excuse me. Now we go to the Torian 639. The cute little guy. That thing is just adorable. And you can put, and this is hilarious, you can put twin wheels on it as well. Doesn't that just look so funny? Got it all spread out like that. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a little bitty machine in my opinion. But that is my opinion. So it is 68 horsepower. Goes 20 kilometers an hour. And its base price is 64500 With the twin wheels on it, it is 66000 even. So that concludes all of the normal DLC machines. Now we will move on to these guys. So this is the Torian 1914? Yes, the Torian 1914 Dev Mule. So it basically has a skin on it. And it actually looks pretty good. I don't know what all the little curly cues are for, or what they're supposed to represent, but. Oh, are they horseshoes? They are. The horseshoes. Cool. So, let's take a look at that one. The Torian 1914 Dev Mule can be bought with all of the same tires as the standard Torian 1914 has the same horsepower same road speed the only difference is the skin and it is a $250,500 machine and changing the tires does not change the price that is the price for it so that is the dev mule if you did not pre-order then unfortunately you won't be able to get this machine now let's take a look at this guy this is the Kloss maxi 108 sl dominator it's a long name and on it is the Kloss c510 Serial Harvester header. So, let's fire it up. Unfold it real quick. A little bitty grain tank opening. Short, stubby little pipe. And actually, let's look inside. Woo! Old school. Look at that. That is old school. I like it. Very bare bones, minimalistic sort of uh, machine. I really like that. So, let's turn that off, head into the store, and take a look at this thing. All right, so here's the Kloss Dominator 108 SL Maxi. You can choose the main color, which does what? Oh, just changes the frame color down here and the hubs. Interesting. Doesn't cost you anything to do that. So, at your own, at your own discretion. Does not have any basic um, options here. 
and it is 139,000. That is a really cool machine. Now if I could read German, I would be able to tell you what that says, but I cannot read German, so my apologies. But yes, that is a brilliant little machine. Unfortunately, it is only available through the pre-order. Now, here's the C510 harvester header for it. 5.1 meter working width, 10 kilometer working speed, and it costs you 26,500. Actually, let's go back to the Dominator. It has a 7,800 liter tank, 221 horsepower, 25 kilometer per hour road speed. It's kind of slow, not that powerful, not that huge of a grain tank. But it's a classic. What do you expect? It's old school. Then there is a header trailer, which is also very old school, minimalistic looking. And it is $3,550 for this trailer. So, fairly cheap, fairly minimalistic. It's not a dual axle with the steering tires on it that's impossible to back up. It's just a straight trailer. Very, very nice. So anyways, that will conclude my garage tour of the Kloss Platinum DLC. If you liked it, uh, please subscribe and leave a like. Comment below if you'd like to see some gameplay with these machines. If you want me to do a series running, you know, mostly Kloss, other than, you know, the implements like the Cedars and whatnot. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of this Platinum DLC. I think it's worth buying. I'm fairly impressed with it. There is no map that came out with it, unfortunately, but I think the DLC itself makes up for that with the just sheer amount of vehicles in this DLC. So... With that being said, folks, I'm going to sign off, and hope you all have a good day. Later.